Ho, ho, ho. <sighs> Hi, it's me, St. Nick. I'm here to deliver presents to all of my beautiful viewers, but most importantly, my beautiful patrons, the most important ones. That's what my little sack is here. It's full of all my patrons' wish lists. Are these people naughty or are they nice? Are these viewers good people or are they scum f <laughs> But it wouldn't be possible without, uh-oh, I think I hear him, my little elf helper! God, you're gorgeous. This is my elf helper, Harry. He, we, don't, we don't need to talk about that. He's gonna be wrapping him up. Here, we need another person though to pass it off, I think. Why not Mrs. Claus? <laughs> Go ahead, keep all of this. <laughs> Mrs. Claus! I'm so excited. It's the holiday season and to give back to the beautiful community of patrons I have, we're gonna be doing uh, gifts, which some of them are pretty fucked. All right, just wanna say that right off the top. So we have my nice passer helper here and our nice packaging. Uh, this is also a test for Harry here to see if he's gonna have a job because if the things don't get wrapped in time, he's fucking fired. So let's pull from our bag. Let's start it off here. Did you want to do the joke about why were you guys up there? The entrance was so bad that no. <laughs> <laughs> these fucking gloves are gonna be need to come off, I think. I'm taking these off. There's no way I can get to the paper. <laughs> Who's our first one? Our first little letter. It says, Dear Meat Canyon, this year I would like the Lego Hogwarts set. It would be really cool to build it with my kid. He's really into Lego, and it'd be a joy to be able to share that together. It'd be really cool to build it with my kid. Okay, but that why do you everyone has kids, dude? How many fucking kids are there on Earth? Why can't they get it for the kid? Well, exactly. Really, you had to you had to wait for fucking Saint Nick to get you the one present you want for your kid. It's hundred and seventy dollars. Send that off, Elf. Send it off. All right, very nice. You hate to start on a naughty though, don't you? That's all right. You know what? With the, what's been done. All right, now that you typically clean, but I need you to fucking stop. All right. The next one is Dear Meekin. This year, I would really like the Green Ranger Dragon Dagger. What the fuck is that? It's seventy dollars. Okay, Elf. There's some greedy people. $70. The Whatever happened to just like some fucking candy, dude? I remember I asked for like milk duds when I was a kid. You ever get oranges? No, because my parents love me. <laughs> because Daddy St. Nick's parents were God, right? Where did, who, who is St. Nicholas's parents? My dad is Jesus Christ. Um, the Navians? Okay. This, the reason I think I deserve it this year. With all is a big fan of Power Rangers, especially Jason David Frank. Rip. He's dead as shit. And this is also from Athetos, is what we have as the name. Athetos. Is that Greek? God of War fan. Maybe. If they would have asked for God of War, I would have been like, with this name, why not? <sighs> I'm not a huge Power Ranger fan. Kind of a downer read. It's kind of, I, mean, I don't, I mean, I don't want to be this kind of guy, but like, if you're going to bring in a dead person, it's just like, Jesus Christ, dude, really? <laughs> come on, on Christmas, come on. Naughty, 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 naughty. All right, there we go. Uh, Athetos. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, right, little, little coal blisters. Can I get cancer from coal? If you puff it. Well, I've been smashing it into the, we'll probably be okay, right? Dear Meat Cannon, this year I would really like Blenders for Hands. Harrison Kidd, what a name. I like that name first off, Harrison, Harrison Kidd. Kidd. If your last name is Kidd, that's just kind of sick. I like that. The reason I think they deserve it is, I want to be Edward Margarita Heads at the parties. I'm a good guy and I deserve this. Plus, karma has not allowed me a mate until this point, and it would certainly raise my cool points. So you just basically, Harrison Kid just confessed that he's never gotten pussy or boy butt before. And he wants to blend his hands up? You know what? I, I, I like the name enough. We're going to put him on the nice list, which we didn't get because the blender is $100. I mean, the, the, for, I need to get two blenders, basically. It's $200. Not cool. But Harrison, we did get you scissors. That's cute. So then that way, you can dress up as Johnny Depp at your parties, and you can get some pussy or boy butt that way. That feels fair to me. So you know what? Harrison Kid, I hope you enjoy your gift. We are sending that out. Oh, right. shit. There you go. Am yeah. I doing that? I forgot. Oh, I'm here, let me do. Here, let me. I'll, I'll give it to you, <laughs> baby. Would you mind giving that to the elf? Thanks, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have. Uh, let's see here. Dear me, Kenan. This year, I would really like a full bar with a horror goth aesthetic for my house. Okay. Well, but I, that's thousands of dollars. Also, it's like, are we supposed to go and fucking build it? A horror goth bar. A full bar. I think Harry could take a couple weeks off to go do that. I can't afford that. The reason I, I think I deserve this year, I've always put others first before myself. A little something nice for myself would be nice. 
Uh, Jindo. Here's a fucking news flash, dude. On your uh, naughty or nice list thing or why you deserve a gift, don't ever put about how good of a person you are. That's yeah. a big, that's a turn off for me, dude. This is a, a message in humility. Maybe try being a bad boy. There we go, so Jindo. Naughty, 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 naughty. Dear Meat Canyon, this year I would really like Keebler cookies and a nice sunny vacation. That's fucking love that. The reason I think I deserve this, I had the flu last year and I'm immune comprised so it would be nice to stay healthy and warm. Lena, God damn it. I don't see why we couldn't give her the Keebler. Let's get her some Keebler cookies. Also, she's immunized. Is that what she said? She can't get immune sick? Immune compromised. Immune compromised. I don't know, that sounds fucking- She gets super sick. She gets super sick? Yeah. Really? Is that what that means? It just means your immune system doesn't work as good. So like if we're in a room and someone has the flu and no one catches it, she probably will. Oh, well, Jesus. Should we disinfect this or? <laughs> Sorry, I had a little bug. All right, go ahead and give that. There you go, Lopez. Lena Lopez, honestly, dude, how long have you been fucking working here? I cut it a little too short the first time. All right, well, I'm all you know, these are not slowing down. I am not slowing down. You do not realize how fucking difficult a 365 day year is to get a gift for everyone on earth, all right? It's a big day for you, I understand. <sighs> All right. Dear Meat Cannon, this year I would really like a goth muscle mommy to spit pre-workout in my mouth and show me her playlist. Whoa. I like that. Well, first off, I don't know how I'm supposed to fulfill this. You want to go spit in somebody's mouth? Maybe show them your pussy, your butthole? Oh. I don't know if I'm a goth Mrs. mommy. mommy you could dare, but like dye this black. I'm not a muscle mommy though. Well, how about this? The reason they think they deserve it is because I've been trying with the pumpkin spots women and it's not fun, so I deserve this. And some Papa Meat merch would be dope. Okay, well. That's a bunch of gifts in one. So let me tell you something. I'm not gonna do that. Also, this is from uh, Jamieson Hartman. Do you have some gamer stuff so we can give him? Clap, Allison. It's loud. One. Just one big one. Oh. <laughs> it's just to sync your sound. Just do one. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna hurt. You gotta get like a splinter. You don't thing. control what I do, all right? Here we go. We got some lean, some gamer subs, which if you could also use promo code Papa Meat at checkout. This stuff is actually very good and this flavor is really good too. Just let you know. Wait, we just wanna thank today's partner, Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs is an amazing energy drink company that's a great substitute for all the sugary coffees. You got your sugary energy drinks. They're all bad, but Gamer Subs is keto friendly, it's sugar free, and it's unbelievable flavors. I don't think I've ever had one that's bad yet. I mean, Grandpa's Ashes, you would assume that would be bad, but it's delicious. Same with Brand Risk. I really like that one. Titty Milk. Even just some of the regular ones. Cherry. You know, I mean, like uh, any basic flavors, you gotta try them. And right now, if you use promo code Papa Meat at checkout, you get to sample three flavors for free. What? All right. And I'm, let me tell you something. When you get those flavors, you're gonna be like, oh, baby, I need to get me some of them. I need to buy me some of them. They got anime waifu shaker cups. They got all the flavors. And they also have. They also have gamer soups, which is a new thing that they're getting ready to do. It's just instant noodles. They're delicious. This brand I'm holding here is the beef mm. one. I've had the chicken one so far and it is mm, so good. So if you're a fan of just like makeshift microwave ramen, anything like that, this is a great product to have as well while ordering your energy supplements as well. So be sure to go to gamersubs.com and check out all kinds of their flavors, and especially the waifu cups, because let me tell you something, when those motherfuckers are gone, it's like buying blood diamonds off of eBay. All right, they get expensive, it's crazy. So just wanted to say thank you to our partner, Gamer Subs, for helping us support the channel and being a fucking awesome partner. And back to the video. You get a thing of lean and some charcoal. Good luck with, uh, I don't know, sexually harassing goth women or something like that. I guess he didn't say you, so that's kind of unfair to say. Good luck getting your dick sucked by a big titty, a big titty, milky goth, goth chick. Harassed. Yeah, good luck getting sexually harassed. There you go. All right, moving along. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like to find love. <laughs> yeah, right. That's from, how do you say that? Cap Kuba? Cap Kabooey? Cap Kabooey? They say the only reason they think they deserve this is It's lonely out here. I can't keep doing this thing alone. Well, too bad, bitch. You better get used to it. Coal for you! Uh, uh, uh. It'll keep him warm when he's all cold and lonely. That's true. That's true. What? My job's harder when you shake the table like that. Well, dude, you better get used to it. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I would watch your fingers, too, while you're at it. I do like how nice you're trying to make it. <laughs> it's, it's so hard. I don't have enough tables for me. We got a lot. I mean, look at all these supplies. You could probably mitigate that a little bit, right? Baby, would you mind just helping him, like, mitigate the table space a little bit or something? He looks, I think he needs mm. some help. Daddy Santa would love that. Yeah, now you got all that. That'd be good. This is why you haven't had a job in, like, 650 years. You need to find better help. Just because you did. Okay, well, the help is here. Okay, so. You're doing great. We don't pay him, right? 
Dear Meat Cannon, this year I would really like an Easy Bake Oven. $120 Easy Bake Oven. Whatever, like, it's just, it's just, people are reaching. The reason I think I deserve this, when I was younger, I was given the Easy Bake Oven for Christmas, but was forced to return it to Walmart after the recall before I even got a chance to open it. It was all I had ever wanted as a kid, only to have it snatched away from me when I finally got it. I still feel the pain to this day. Andrea Lopez. Hmm. That's touching. I'm gonna have to put her on the nice list. But I uh, couldn't get an easy bake oven, didn't know where the hell that was at. So instead, we got you a skillet! <laughs> With this, you can make cookies, waffles, probably not waffles, but you can make pancakes. You can make yourself a Ginny O's turkey burger, which I ate a lot when I first lost weight, but now that came back. Uh-oh, watch out for the skillet. Congratulations and, ha and, mer and mer Merry Christmas. Dear Me Cannon, this year I would really like a glow in the dark Me Cannon. No! The reason I think I deserve it is for research purposes. Ashton Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're good. How old are they? 1996. They're 1,900. We just want to say that we did message them to confirm that they were of age, so glow in the dark dildo, please. But here you go. No! And you can fix yourself with that. You can put that in your A lot of gay men like to put this in their asses and they like it a lot. No women? I see more gay men than I do women of any kind. Just... Any kind. Gay men are cornering this no! market. The amount of gay men for this specifically is, I mean, astronomical. I think that I did the women a disservice because there is a lot, the amount of I've seen of gay men shoving this into their ass is crazy. So good luck with that. And try it in your asshole, you never know. Pretty nice. Dear Meat Canyon, this year I would really like a rice cooker. The reason I think I deserve this year is I just want to be able to cook rice every day, eat it, and remain being a good boy for my present that I will want and deserve next year. I don't like the tone at the end of that one, yeah. if I'm being honest. Also, I think there's also bag of rice, which is I use, which is a steamable one. I remember you said you didn't like that, but I, it you was- You could also just put it into a pot. You could just put it into a pot. So to have a rice cooker and then also have the audacity to say that I will want and deserve next year if feels very presumptuous. That's from Gavin. Yeah, I don't know, bitch. Cook a burger. Here's some coal. Use this to cook yourself some nice hot dogs and hamburgers, bitch. There you go. You really gotta speed it up because we're losing space on our end now too. And the, uh, the really unprofessional. I just wanna say that like, we've been doing this for thousands of years before you, and this is the only time this has happened like this. I'm used to like dolls. Are you a temp or are you full time? What's going on here? Have you been in gift wrapping this whole time or? No, they promoted me actually. I was a reader for the wish list and now I'm toys. We're out of tape? You got one roll of tape. So now we're gonna we're gonna tape up people's stuff and fucking masking tape and gorilla tape. We have a partnership with Scotch too, so it's like we get those for free. Dear Meat Cannon, this year I would really like a streaming camera. The reason I think I deserve it is because this year marks my eighth year clean from heroin. Love Pagan. If that's true, that's very impressive. Yeah. I have no reason to not believe that's not true. What do you think? I want to believe that he's telling the truth. All right, let's give him a cheap camera. Wada bing, bada boom! Cheap webcam. It's a Nexigo. Ooh, that's gotta watch out when you say that one. Say that five times fast, you know? <laughs> Won't have a career after that. N60, 180p full HD webcam, not bad, you know? Hopefully you stream some League of Legends and I can watch you then, so we'll see. I'm helping. You're doing great, baby, honestly. <laughs> Here, can we give, give Dad a kiss? <laughs> I love you so much. Ew. Honestly, you just, you make this whole year go by. It's such a hard job. <laughs> I know. It's such a hard job and you make it so worth it. Yeah, I make a... Uh... Don't look at us. Oh. Don't look at us because this is our time. You have no idea what I want to do right now. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> All right, dear me, Ken, this year I would really like uh, a streaming camera. Yeah, we. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like a replica half. Jesus Christ. This year I would really like a replica half T Rex skull from prehistoric store. Oh my God. That's a $2,000 skull. To mount on my wall. Totally impractical, but fantastic. What would you do with half a skull? Got eye holes. Love Rob. Just Rob. I don't like that name. Someone who wants that, like a fucking dinosaur gift that, that that's like that realistic is like an old person. Rob's probably like 43. And at that point you don't get Christmas gifts anymore, Rob. So you know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get some fing coal, dude. You, Rob. But also at the same time, thanks for being a patron. 
I should probably not be as mean. A $2,000 prehistoric head, Rob? Come on, what the fuck are we thinking, seriously? Dear Geekian, this year I would really like an animation tablet. Ooh, wait, they want a Wacom Cintiq Pro 22 inch? That's a fucking three grand tablet. That costs more than the dinosaur head. That's more than the, <laughs> that's more than the literal half T-Rex head, dude. I have been really invested in animation and I want to make my own cartoon. From Jack Holm. You know what, I like the idea though of cartoon deal. I like cartoons too, but a three grand fucking Cintiq tablet's way too much. But I can give you something that's actually very beneficial. Official. The Animator Survival Kit! If you're looking to go into animation, this is the Holy Bible. Any page you turn to, it's gonna be something helpful. How to ease in and out of faces. All kinds of structural things. I can't read the fine print, but I'm pretty sure this is also time charts. Smear frames, how to do that correctly. It's all in here. If you're wanting to learn how to do animation, this is the thing to fucking get. Richard Williams, rest in peace. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Is he dead? Yeah, he died. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like a pink Barbie Jeep. Who wouldn't, dude? I always wanted it as a little kid. Wow, Taylor. That's really fucking, that's from Taylor. The inconvenience of having to get that big stupid box and then send it myself. You know what, actually we have it back here. There you go, Taylor, there's your Barbie Jeep. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like a pink Barbie Jeep. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like a Black Lotus. Wow, okay, well for people that don't know, Black Lotus is the most expensive, or was the most expensive magic card. I think the one ring topped it now, but according to TCG.com, trading card. A damaged version of one is $79,000. Mildly played one is $82,000, almost $83,000. And a near mint one is 140,000 reasons. Logan here says the reason why he deserves it is why? Because I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> I don't know. I deserve to have it this year because I live in Iowa and I am miserable. <laughs> Love you, Papa! As much as I sympathize with that, at the same time, I gotta do this to you. You know, I'm just gonna give you a tiny piece of coal. You know, actually, I'm gonna take this one. Do that. And I'm also gonna give you, uh, what pack do we have over here? My least favorite set so far in a long time, which is I'm gonna get you a pack of Brothers War. And let me tell you, this is like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they pay people to get these now. So have fun playing magic with that, bitch. You're doing great. I just caught up and now I'm- You're doing really good. I'd help, but I'm kind of busy. Yeah, you say that every year. I don't want to do this, I'm busy. I'm tired. <sighs> Dear Meekin, I really want things because I can make most of anything, but I can't make an aerial rig. So I'd really like to have one of those this year. Put a picture of what an aerial rig is up. I looked it up and it's not, it's, it's 900 bucks. <coughs> Coals are getting me. Oh, I've worked very hard to put my partner and I in a good place financially. He's in a place where he can grow creatively and I can finally have real work-life balance. As the icing on the cake, I did promise myself that I would get one if I met my goal weight which has come and passed. All right, you skinny bitch. Tiny X Tato. Tiny X Tato. I don't know how to purchase an aerial rig, I'll be honest, and also almost a grand is fucked. That's greedy as But I do have a sex swing, because that's what the picture looked like. It looked like a swing. Hey, right? Why are you looking at her like You'd that? You'd look really time? good on one. Oh, trust me, I know I'd look good. Spread eagle, putting fucking apple butter where it should not be. So we got you a sex swing here so you can your mans who you spoil, and also a safety helmet. I, I don't know, I, think, I feel like you'd want to have the safety to not hit your head while you're I mean, deep you could, fucking. You could use that for a lot of things. That's true. What did they say her man does? Work creatively? You should tell your mans to work creatively on that pussy. Dear Meat Cannon, this year I would really like a bionicle. The reason I think I would deserve it this year is because I wished on a shooting star for it when I was nine, and I still don't have it. And this is from Andrew Anderson. How old do you think Andrew is? Andrew Anderson is definitely a 40-year-old. 40-year-old? Probably. He's got two first names. Bionicle came out in 2001, I think. If you would have ate shit right there, it would have been so funny. I think Bionicle came out in like 2001, so if he was nine then. So he's like probably 30. The best color Bionicle is white, right? That's what I said. She's being making a joke because she saw the fucking video. The best one's red. I looked online for some cool ones, like over 150 bucks. I didn't feel right buying that. So I just want to say that uh, we did get you something Bionicle related. So there's that. And it's this, Bionicle 2, the movie on DVD. So, you know, you can reminisce and the whole time you're watching it, you can be like, ah. I always wanted that when I was a kid. It's you, an you Oscar that. nominated film. This did win an Academy Award, which is very impressive. I think Anthony Hopkins plays a, uh, like a date rapist in this. Oh no, that's a different movie. Merry Christmas, Andrew. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like a nugget ice machine. What? I'm terrible at remembering to make it myself. It's like an automatic ice maker. 230 fucking dollars. The Dirty Bubble also is the name. <laughs> I'm not gonna get you the nugget ice maker. It's, I mean, 200, 230 bucks, but here's some ice trays. You put water in this, and then like in 45 minutes, you got ice, bitch. All right, so there you go. Oh, this comes with a nice scoop. Look at that. 
little scoop. That's coffee. nice. You put coffee or juice in it to make juice ice, coffee ice. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like the Lego Millennium Falcon. $850. I remember when it came out and it was the coolest thing out there. To this day, it is still the staple of anyone's Lego collection. I just recently got out of the Air Force, and it would be perfect to commemorate my time in the service. Put them on the nice list, because we have to support our boys, our overseas boys, if anything, that's right, everybody do a salute. And then I got you this. But I'm gonna get you Hamburger Hill on DVD. Okay, this is actually a region locked copy of Hamburger Hill. It's the Japanese, it's the Vietnamese or Japanese version and it is region locked. So hopefully you have a region DVD player for this. It's one of my favorite Vietnam movies. No one talks about it enough. So thanks for being in the Air Force, I guess. Did you not know that this was region locked? It was primable. Look at the back. It was primable. Oh. Everything had to be primable. We work with Amazon Prime here. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like a Papa Meat voicemail. I want Papa Meat to record him himself making a voicemail template so I can cut it up and personalize it to my phone. <laughs> this way everyone gets to enjoy my present. How do I not know that this is not big AI trying to capture my likeness? Sorry, foe. They're my new fucking foe is what I want to say to that. There's your voice message, dude. And you better not take the audio from this video and fuck with that. That's a big no-no. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like an oboe. $450 for an oboe? Nerd. Don't fucking like middle schoolers have like band practice and shit? I don't think you realize how much money people spend on their kids. I wouldn't know that because you refuse to bear mine. That's true. I've even tried to adopt some elves. I take them to the cliffside and... Hey, we don't say that in front of... I think I should get to have one because I got forced to change schools back in high school and I didn't get to continue being in the marching band because of it! I played clarinet back then. Wow, you couldn't be a marching band? What a fucking... That must have ruined your high school experience. That's from, uh, Lickyo. Is it Lickyo Nuts? Well, I'm not gonna get you oboe. That is very... That's a nice story. I appreciate that. Give me the gift we have for her. <laughs> uh, I got you a recorder. <laughs> <laughs> a little, uh, hot cross buns. <laughs> or a quarter spit on it. Oh shit, we'll clean it up. I shouldn't have touched it with my mouth. Oh, you might as well do hot cross buns. Do you remember it? This is why I married her. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to like get it. I don't fucking remember how to play like, buns. It's like looking at Mozart, Wolfgang von Mozart. Yeah, they, yeah be sure to take about it. There's spit all in this right now. Yeah. We're gonna clean it. We're gonna clean it. <laughs> We're gonna clean it. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like the Turbo Man doll figure. Huh. It's 13.5 inches tall. I don't know, I like how you know the height of it. It's 13 inches. It talks and is fully posable. Why do you need it fully posable? Another good point. Electronic lights and sounds and three action <laughs> accessories are included. $32. Because my dad never got one for me, and now I'm an alcoholic mailman. That's from Ryan Smith. Uh, I couldn't find the Turbo Man doll. I do, I do sympathize with your plight. You are on the good list here. But I did get you Terminator Dark Fate T800 Old Man Arnold Funko Pop. He is the Turbo Man, so why not? You know. So enjoy that, dude. Merry Christmas, Ryan. Dear Me Cannon, this year I would really like a kid sister doll. That's creepy. The reason I think I deserve it is because I had one that I would bring with me everywhere. And when I was seven, I had a little girl. She was four years old. Who lived next to me and her family was struggling. So I gave her my kid sister doll. So she could have a friend. I don't regret doing it, but I miss having that doll around. So I guess I could say my good nature to help someone else earns me the right. Candace. I will say my initial reaction was me thinking it was a man asking for that. When I was seven, I had a little girl four. <laughs> so I thought that you had like a child when you were seven. So that <laughs> fucked me up. I, I looked into it. They're like really expensive and it takes forever to get them. So I got you. It's cool that this one isn't region locked. Not Without My Daughter, which is a Sally Fields film about a woman getting stuck in the Middle East and trying to return back to America. So, you know, I feel like you wanted a kid sister daughter doll thing, and instead you get this. I'm gonna let you know right now, this movie is PG-13, and back then, that was a hard rating to get. There is a, a lot of domestic abuse in this film. This son of a bitch slaps her around the whole film. Good movie though, not without my daughter. Look at that. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like a Melvin plush. I would give him a good home. Moxie 621, I don't see why we couldn't do that. 
Do we have a, a nice home. We got the Melvin sitting over there. Should we just give him that one? This Melvin's been touched by Meat Canyon himself. Okay, I did. It sounds inappropriate, but. <laughs> <laughs> I know he hasn't. If you get the nice Melvin, then you get the nice Melvin. Thank you for even wanting the Melvin. I appreciate that. There you go. This is going to go to a good home. He's a good boy. It's very nice. Dear Meat Canyon, this year I would really like some self confidence. Here's your self confidence, buddy. Life's a bitch, get used to it. Dear Meat Cannon, this year I would really like a Dino Riders T-Rex toy. Okay, I looked this up on eBay, it was $500. I think I deserve it because my dad made me throw it out when I was like 11. And good lord, I can't afford one on eBay. All right, well at least he's honest. Christopher Brown, um. I don't know, that's probably the reason your dad threw that away. Yeah. What did you do to your dad to throw it away? Good fucking point. We almost, yep. Or maybe it's time to fucking grow up, dude. Maybe that's why he threw it away. You need to grow the fuck up. God, Santa. Mrs. Claus, I fucking. He's, he's triggering me. You fucking, don't be looking down here, because it's good. Don't put the camera down there, dude. You know what it is? It's time to fucking grow up, dude. Also, I want to talk to your dad. I threw it away because he's a little shit. What do you think he did to his dad? He probably had a bad day at work, came home, saw his little bitch little son playing with that toy. And he's My like, little bitch son. Him. You want to play with dinos? Not in this house! Here, he gives him a fucking baseball and a like, football, and he's like, like learn gotta, this! He's probably like, if I've got to work all day, why do you get to sit here and fucking play with your toys? Yeah, how, uh, dad, I'm seven. Okay, well, get a fucking yob, dog is what I would say. There you go. Naughty. All our fucking viewers are just naughty as shit. Dear Miki, this year I would really like a Papa Meat dildo. Or the real Papa Meat instead. From Brandon. Sure. Yeah. Let's give him a dildo. We, got, we gave the last person a green one, so this time we'll get you a nice, uh, a nice green dildo. Put the lube in the, uh, in the bag there. Dear Meat Cannon, this year I would really like an electronic talking battleship. $350, the talking version, are you kidding me? I've always been a slut for battleship, but never got the ultimate version of it. <laughs> I could at this point buy it for myself, but it just wouldn't feel the same. The ultimate version of it. Who's a slut for battleship? Like the game? Apparently Justin Roberts is. I could at this point buy it for myself. It just wouldn't feel the same. F you, Justin! It's what like, the f It's like getting a hand job. <laughs> that is true. Well. <laughs> Now you put me on his side. Yeah, no, I, you know what? No, I'm, I'm sticking with my gut. Ship. Fuck you, Justin. You son of a bitch. It's in the shape of a ship. Oh, it kind of does. The coal looks like a little battleship. Look at that. Uh, G5, <laughs> you hit my battleship. I always hated saying that when I was younger. I always played with, like, extremely sweaty battleship players. So I'd be like, um, D3. He's like, fuck! Hit! Motherfucker! Also, people would cheat all the time. Miss. Like, how is it statistically possible I've missed this many times? Good, battleship. What a, what a concept. Nice. It's, it's rustling against your beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she never, she never stepped closer to help you. <laughs> it didn't occur to me. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like a go-kart shitty small RC car. The one that he linked was $1,400. That's a shitty small RC car. That's the price of RC cars? Are they that expensive? I remember that American Dad episode whenever he gets obsessed with RC cars. And no. uh, it's like this huge hobby. <laughs> That. Now that I'm a parent, nice, he got laid. I'd love to rip one around the neighborhood with my kids. <laughs> I deserved it because I truly believe in meaty Christmas miracles, and I always give people sitting in the middle seat on the airplanes full reign of the armrest. <laughs> That's from Nick Counter. That's a nice thing. All right, we'll get you an RC car. RC car! We got you the Hot Wheels Cybertruck RC car. <laughs> so have fun ripping this around the streets with your kids, dude, and tell them how cool Elon Musk is. Don't let your dog get into it. Don't let your puppy into it. He's gonna swallow it like a pill. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like a PS5 or a big booty Latina. <laughs> the reasons I, he thinks he deserves it? No reason needed. Love your local cholo. God, that is a fucking, that's hard to argue with. I'm I can't ship you a big Latina woman, but I guess I'll get you a PS5. <laughs> you thought we were joking too. We legitimately got him a PS5. It comes with the Spider-Man 2 bundle. I don't know if that game, is that game supposed to be good? Do people like that game? Yeah. People like it. Oh, they love it. Our other uh, elf said that they love it. So enjoy your PS5, dude. Hope you game a uh, big game. He was a gamer. And thank you, dude. Harry, bend down. Like, you have his letter? Move, move Allison. Get out of the way, Jerry. Oh my god. I didn't know an elf pussies was so loose. Okay. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like some Christmas spirit. Huh. The reason I think I deserve it is because I always looked forward to Christmas when I was younger. I feel like back maybe 20 years or so ago, people celebrated it more in neighborhoods and just generally all throughout the community. I don't see it as much anymore and I don't really have a family anymore. It's just me and it feels like another day sometimes. And if I could have any present, it would be able to feel that again. And I think I deserve it because I feel like everyone does. Way to fucking kill the vibe of the video, dude. 
There's some fucking coal. I don't know what the fuck you did to your family, but it sounds like you killed them, if I'm being honest. I don't know the backstory. It could be very tragic, but that would be tragic if, if he murdered them, so. It's all tragic. Dear Mika, this year I would really like to find a way with my art. At first I said love and support is a joke, but man, I'm 24 trying to find my way with art and trying to make a means for myself. It's so rewarding and so scary. It's humbling reminding myself that not everyone is going to enjoy what I make. Tatiana Andrews, you know, everybody experiences that. A little bit of art. I, I can get you some art stuff here. So we got you uh, draw quick and easy manga boy bodies. So if you're looking to draw some tight little boy bodies. This is what your art will look like soon and you'll be making the big bucks. So Tatiana, keep at it. Biggest Let's, thing is uh, practice. Put some cat heads on them and now you you got some furry community. You put You put cat heads on these, you're good, you might legitimately make tens of take, thousands take of dollars a month. Take the pants off, put the cat head on it. Learn how to draw a and a and some and Furries have money. That's exactly. true, furries will pay for anything. So, you know, big do that. Dear Beacon, I would really like the rest of the erotic FNAF story to be posted to Patreon. Because I need it. it says Londi Brondi. Yeah, sure, we'll post it right now, and it's up. There it is, Londi Brondi. It's a really disgusting smut, so have fun with that. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like a Gibson Les Paul guitar for my wife. That's a $3,000 fucking guitar, dude. After everything she's been through, military. Here we go with the military people. Jesus Christ. Oh, they forced me into it. Medical and personal. She deserves it. She's a musical genius. And one day, she'll get that guitar. Love, uh... Dartagnan. <laughs> <laughs> Dark to non Starkey. I hope I said that right. I probably definitely said that wrong. Oh, uh, you know what? That is very sweet though. And I, I wish you and your wife a Merry Christmas and I did get you something. I unfortunately couldn't get you a Les Paul. Those are a bit expensive, but I did get you uh, this, which is an image of Slash playing his Les Paul. So that's, if that's not motivation, then I don't know. You tape that on your wall and you I don't, one know, day I don't you really know what it. is. You might keep on to that. Who knows? Also on the back of this, we have a standards terms and conditions contract because I think we ran out of paper. We should probably like block that out or something. I don't know. I don't know what kind of contract that is. Please don't sue us or something like that. Be kidding. This year I would really like a badass axe. The reason I want it is self-explanatory, says Jace. I can't help but just feel the cringe seek through this, but then also I can't help but imagine that you're just the kid with Cheeto dust on your fingers in school. So I'm going to teach you a life lesson and, uh, let you know that that's naughty behavior, buddy. Nice little deal, nice little coal. Season up the letter a little bit. There you go. Let's close, take that. Spin in it, too, if you want. Uh, Jeremy King, this year I would really like my daughter to be born healthy and safe. Why would you jinx that? It says See, L. Is it our fault now? It says L per 69, exactly. So now it's like, okay, first off, dude, I, your baby is going to be fine, but do not put that fucking evil on me. Because God forbid, we're going to get a fucking message later on and it's going to say something horrible. So don't ever say that aloud. Be responsible again. for your own fucking seed, dude. Dear Meekin, this year I would really like typo negative vinyl box set. That's 330 fucking dollars. It's a good album though. Well, it's a box set, it's like all of them. The reason I think I deserve it is <laughs> I've been such a good boy this year, working two jobs and doing freelance writing work on the side. Plus my car got totaled by an uninsured driver recently, and now I have to buy a whole new car! I want something good in life, Papa Meat. I deserve something good! Sean, people who have been watching this show know that I went through something very fucking similar, so you know what? You said you were homeless? I lived in my uh, Dodge Caliber, and I was trying to do uh, animation tests and stuff. I'd sleep in the Walmart parking lot, because that's where I'd get the least into the loitering tickets, and then I, uh... And then I woke up. I can't get you the vinyl thing, because the shipping would be too long, and it's also just kind of expensive, you know? We did get you something, though. I got you, oh, my favorite typo negative record, which is October Rust on CD. And since you're probably, you're working the two jobs, you're probably not gonna get a super new car, so that maybe you have a CD player, and you can pop this in. I thought that was actually very thoughtful. I'm such a nice guy. Santa Claus can be so nice and thoughtful sometimes. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like the 2004 Dr. Octopus 12-inch action figure. What the fuck is up with, like, these oddly specific toys? Bunch of nerds. The reason I think I deserve this is, I had the spy! Spider-Man action figure from the movie as a kid. Oh shit. Hang on. Every fiber of my being! It's to this day one of the only things I've never been able to part with from my childhood. But when I saw the TV commercial for the first time for that action figure in a dark arc, in the commercial, too! 
I wanted both so badly so I could recreate the train scene from the movie. I asked for both for my birthday and got the Spider-Man, which is still a core memory to me. I hoped that I would get the Dark Ark for Christmas, but my family didn't have a lot of money growing up, and they all sold out at the Toys R Us in town pretty quickly. It's kind of dumb now. I don't need it, nor do I probably deserve it, but damn, I wish I had that thing. Thick boy Roy. You kind of had my story until the end. You're just like, I don't even deserve it. What the fuck have you done that's so naughty? Kind of outed yourself, dude. You did out yourself, and then also it's just like, hey, my family was poor. They got me this one thing, but not the other thing. Thick boy Roy, you need to fucking, you know what? If you were in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory situation, you would be one of the kids that gets like cancer or whatever. Turns be into a blueberry. Blueberry cancer. <laughs> have you ever thought about that? Willie basically gave all of the kids cancer when he like did that shit. You don't turn into a giant blueberry without some kind of carcinogenic cell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dear Miken, this year I would really like uh, Tamagotchi. Since I wasn't allowed. Since I wasn't allowed. This thing's too hot. Oh my God. Since I wasn't allowed around small animals. Jeffrey Dahmer, much Jesus fucking Christ. Didn't really have anyone around me growing either. So that kind of followed me into adulthood. So I think a digital pet would be nice for some company. What are you doing to these people in your life? Chobities? Chobities. Chobities. Maybe you can stroke this as you like plan your next murder victim, dude. Jesus Christ. Thanks again. Just put that in. Just also track it so we can keep a watch on. Yeah. Dear me, Ken, this year I would really like a MacBook again. Wow, dude. Okay. Again. Again. Yeah. Mine was stolen and I haven't got anything for Christmas legitimately since I was like 12 since my parents were always poor as shit. Love burnt out productions. Well, I'm not going to get you a MacBook. That is sad that your thing got stolen. That sucks. You haven't had a gift. Both the Steve Jobs movie and Jobs, which I'm pretty sure the MacBook shows up in these movies. I mean, th they're the same movie. It's about the same guy. But I think the one Steve Jobs is better. I like Michael Fassbender. I didn't like Seth Rogen as uh, Steve Wozniak, though, if I'm being honest. Learn how to be an entrepreneur. Which one has actually been written? Jobs. Michael Fassbender plays a way better psychopath, though, if I'm being honest. So there you go. Enjoy that. Hope you had a DVD player. Hopefully those aren't also region locked. We'll see. Dear me, Cannon, this year I would really like MetaQuest 3 VR. God damn, a $500 headset. You have some greedy ass fucking. That's what I'm saying. Like, whatever happened, just like, can I just get like a piece of advice or something? I don't know. Whatever. This year has been a doozy. Between chemotherapy and working 50 hours a week, I'd love to escape into a virtual world. I'm a giver, and I'd love to receive this year. Candace Kaltenbach. That's terrible to hear, dude. Did we get the, her gifts in? Box of Advil and a season of Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Uh, the MetaQuest one, we tried looking it up and I couldn't find a fast enough delivery time to make it in time for the holidays, but I am going to give you, I haven't sold this since the Houston Anime Con. Inside this has a QR code, which will take you to an animation that I never made public. So I hope this can be a good place in your home. Merry Christmas and good luck, and good luck with uh, chemotherapy and your job. I hope it gets a little easier for you. Happy holidays to you. Dear Meat King, this year I would really like, if I could have absolutely anything, I'd want a kayak. Do you know like the troubles I would have shipping a kayak? Acoustic boats don't scare away turtles or alligators, and I think it would be massively cool to be able to photograph and observe them. If you're wanting to be up that close to alligators and turtles, we did get you this. It's some snorkels and clippers, so you can swim down to the bottom of the uh, swamp and get better pictures of them. Very nice. Okay, so we ran out of paper for the rest of them, but we only have a couple left, so I just wanted to burn through these. Lurvy Sturf wanted the Sopranos box set, the Blu-ray box set. I volunteered at a nearby church a couple times this year. I helped move a family into a neighboring apartment. I hope Santa's pleased with the offering. It wasn't available, so we did get him. I just got you season three of Mob Wives on DVD. I feel like that's probably comparable to it's that. Sad. It's it's pretty much the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure James Gandolfini has a heart attack in this too, so it's pretty nice. Luke Higgins wanted a 31 inch D handle aluminum scoop garden trowel. Oh, since a kid, I've loved landscaping and working in the yard and doing honest hard work. And I'm a mean shoveler. Okay, my parents have never supported my gardening hobbies, which is why I've never had the 31 inch D handle aluminum scoop garden trowel. Oh boy, what I wouldn't do for it. I'd be able to blast out a hole in 15 minutes with that baby. I'm brick just thinking of it. A giant shovel. There was no way I was going to do any of that. So instead, uh, I did get him 
a bunch of packet of seeds for his garden so he could just plant these and have some plants. I don't fucking cute, know. Cute little cosmos. Yeah, you don't need a shovel for that. And then Silly Pineapple wanted a pottery kiln or a throwing wheel for their house. I've been in an artistic rut lately and I've wanted to get into ceramics more. Which I looked that up and as for all that stuff, I decided to just get them. So it sounded like they're artists. I got them some Crayola markers, lined paper, and a uh, made by me motorized pottery wheel. It's not bad. Well, so I hope that they get- grow before you want to kill them. Yeah, I think you gotta learn how to ease into do, it a bit. A fucking kiln, good lord. So, there you go. I did want to take this time to just say thank you to everyone, especially my patrons. All the people who got gifts today were patrons. So if you want to sign up next year, do that. But seriously, the Patreon does help support the cartoons, the Papa Meat videos, everything that we do in the production. I mean, the set that we built, everything is assisted by the patrons. So we really want to thank you so much. And also just want to say happy holidays to everybody. I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving or whatever holiday you're celebrating. Just wanted to say from the Papa Meat crew to you, happy holidays and uh, you have an even better new year. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, everybody. Roll the montage of clips of people getting their gifts so we know that we didn't scam them. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> no fucking way, that's awesome. Thank you, me. It's an adult snorkel set? I'm so good. <laughs> I mean, it's such a very nice set. No way. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Well, at least I have food. Awesome. How'd you know I like Terminator, dude? I'll accept it, man. I'll accept it. I appreciate it. Look at this. Merry Christmas, dude. Thanks. <laughs> this guy sent me actual coal in the mail. That's crazy. Was I bad for Christmas? It's cold. <laughs> this pin is pretty cool, though. Thank you, Meat Canyon. I really like this, thank you. Despite getting coal, my hands are now like black because, well. It's coal! <laughs> I just heard like a little squeak. Please don't be a live animal. Or a dead animal, honestly. Got super glue tape. <laughs> I don't. So it's kid safety scissors. In a strange way, this almost feels like a threat. Thank you very much for these sweet gifts. This is not a hospital bracelet. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Me Canyon, you son of a bitch. Should do a taste test. That's cool, all right. This is fucking hilarious, goddammit. It's a fucking, it's a Delvin plush. Dude, yes. Dude, my dog's gonna love this. Um, I, I was not expecting this, uh, but thank you. Really appreciate it, man. Merry Christmas to you and your staff. Oh my goodness, a webcam? Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. You have a Merry Christmas. Look at it! <laughs> it's a Steve Jobs movie. From Meat Canyon? A bunch of stamps. Freedom? That's awesome. A Monster Lab pin? That's pretty awesome. This is Cole? The fuck? I was good this Christmas. Thanks, Papa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he got, he got your bundle. Yeah. yeah. That is so nice. Wow. This is, this is crazy. Thank you so much, man. <laughs>